I'm here with Ben outside Stamford Bridge. Ben, we've just lost 2-1 against Brighton. How do you feel to be back? Realistically, what's the, what's, what's the fucking point of the rest of this season? Like, so many like different things happen that give you hope. Oh, like, oh, Potter sacked, thank God. Lampard comes in, all right. Mate, Lamp Frank Lampard, Frank Hiddink, same thing really at the moment, isn't it? Um, but what's the point of the rest of the season? What's the point of getting excited? We're two one down. So no, we're two nil down to Madrid and Aggregate coming here on Tuesday. They're going to absolutely tear us apart. We've got fixtures galore: United away, Arsenal away, Newcastle at home, Brentford at home. Are those winnable games? We can't beat like this. No, like. We're now in a we're now in a scenario where teams are now coming to Stamford Bridge, knowing they're the better team, knowing that Chelsea are out of form, knowing that Chelsea can't do anything. Like the only positive today is that we scored a goal. That's it. That is it. Like so, what is the point in getting excited in the rest of this season? What's a, just just write it off. Just write it off. You know, just wait for next season. Wait for someone to come in. Just see what happens in the summer. This season's a write off. What is there to expect for the rest of this season? Forty points. That ain't a Chelsea. That ain't Chelsea, is it? That ain't Chelsea. So, what? Wanting 40 points. It is now, by the looks of it. Well, we've got no choice for this season. Just, what's the point for this season, mate? You know, you know, we've got Lampard in for the rest of the season. Like I said, Frank Hiddink. That's all it is. It's just someone to fill the spot until someone wants to be stupid enough to try and turn this team around. Because, like Lewis said, I wouldn't touch this team if I was a coach. I wouldn't want to take on this challenge. Who does? You know, Nagelsmann's probably saying, what am I getting myself into? Or if it's Enrique, Enrique's saying, what am I getting myself into? Yeah, no, no, I, have to, I have to agree with you on that. I mean, but it, it's one of the most attractive jobs even still in world football. I mean, the only difference How? is... How? Well, we spend, How is it? Well, we spend money. Okay. We get players in. We invest. Okay. We back the managers. I mean, the, the way we back Potter was unbelievable. If we did that for a top manager... Hopefully it could work in a much more positive way. But, but the thing is, we could have. His name's Tommy Tuchel. Yeah. If you'd backed a good manager called Thomas Tuchel, maybe he wouldn't have been in this scenario. If you got someone in who's so completely underqualified for the job and put, your, and put more faith in him than a man who delivered you a Champions League title, you already know something's wrong with this club. Everyone can see it. No one is hiding from the, from the truth anymore that Chelsea are just a sub-par laughing stock of London. Fulham are doing better than us. Brentford are doing better than us. Arsenal are competing for a fucking title. Spurs are competing for Champions League. We are trying to get to 40 points. That says everything about us. This is not a Chelsea team that I want to support. But don't get me wrong, I'm still here. I'm still cheering on my team. I'm still putting faith in the boys week in, week out. Right up there is a picture of Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, a striker. Did we play a striker today? No. Fafana. I would have took Fafana up front. That for Fafana. Aubameyang. Anyone. A striker. Not Sterling. Is this shit sorry ball again where we're playing a fucking winger as a shadow striker? No. Sorry ball didn't work. The only reason that Sorry won a trophy is because the players wanted that trophy, not the manager. We're going back to shit Sorry tactics. You know what everyone said with Sorry. I ain't going to sit here and watch this every week. Nothing's working. Nothing's doing this. Nothing's doing that. The club is a joke. Everyone needs to look at what's going on with this club and think. Todd Bowley come out and said, we're going to beat Madrid 3-0. No. How are we going to beat Madrid 3-0 at the Bernabeu? Come on. And now he's probably going to come out, you know, we're still building on the future. We're still building on the future. At the moment, I don't even want to know what that future is if we are doing stuff like this every single week, Alex. I mean, can you at least maybe think to yourself, I mean, I know this sounds hopeful. Maybe it's a case of going two steps backwards in order to go three or four forwards. Two steps backwards. We've taken 20. We've taken 20. This is the worst Chelsea team in 99 years. 30 goals we have scored in this Premier League campaign. 30 goals, Alex. How can you how can you say we're taking two steps about to go a step forward? You know? We we are not scoring other than today. We're not scoring. Four, before today, four goals without no four, four games without a goal. 300 odd minutes without a goal. How can you back that? How can you be positive about that? So I can't comment on today's game. I can't comment on the rest of the season. This season's done. Anything that we get, 
is a bonus just to get the fans happy. Other than that, we're probably not even going to make Conference League. We're definitely not going to make Europa League. And, you know, unless, you know, we re reenact Ajax at home and somehow get through against Madrid, we ain't going into the Champions League either. Champions League is the only way we can realistically get European football and we just got put against the holders, the, you know, Ramadan Benzema, who packs people for fun. Yeah, I mean... What is there to be hopeful about, Alex? What, what can Bowley do in order to learn from the mistakes he's made this season going into next year? Don't sack a manager who wins trophies. Don't... All right, but uh, obviously we haven't got Tuchel anymore. Yeah. Find a manager who has won at top level. Enrique, Nagelsmann. All right, maybe Nagelsmann's a bit far, but realistically, the way I see it, Nkunku comes in next season, all right? In Christopher Nkunku comes in next season. Who managed him at Leipzig and who turned him into that monster? Nagelsmann. Exactly. So, whether it's Enrique, whether it's Nagelsmann, just get one of them two in. If they want a blank check, give them a fucking blank check. If he says to you, I want Jude Bellingham, for example, for 125 million or whatever his fucking price tag is, you know, the little bellend who cried up here when he got knocked out the Champions League. If you want to spend 130 million on him, if he says that's going to build a team, give him the fucking money. We need a striker and get an actual striker. Obviously, Nkunku, I'm excited about. Don't get me wrong. I am really excited about Nkunku. But we need a striker. Oshiman, Tony. Lewandowski, I'll even take, bruv. Anyone. Someone who is prolific in front of that goal, who is an out-and-out out number nine. Until we get a number nine, we are just a shit Man City who look like we're going to the championship. It's going to be weird, though, because with FFP, I don't even know how much money we can spend. We've got to sell players first. Pulisic, get him gone. Havertz, get him gone. If, if, if the right price comes for Gallagher, get him gone. Get Mount gone, if he doesn't want to stay at this club. No, no, not James. Get James, no, no. James, like, he wouldn't sign a contract extension if he didn't want to stay here. Look at James today. He's off, mate. He's checked out. He's not having any of that. I can't agree. I can't. I can't agree with that, man. James. 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 No. Yeah. What Ben has basically been saying is that because we've got so much money um, for FFP that we've got to generate, not being in the Champions League, etc. They're saying if a big bid like 80 million comes in for him, Bowley's going to accept. Take it. Take it. What, for Reese James. Oh no, no. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. No, 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 no. You keep James. That man, when he's at his best, is the best right back in his Premier League. Trent who? Trip your who? Cancelo who? Reese James is the best right back in his Premier League when he wants to play his best. But why do these players want to play when there's nothing to play for, Alex? What? Okay, let's finish. Like, top half is the biggest expectancy of this season. 40 points is a realistic expectancy. And whilst we're at this stage, what can we say? We can't say anything. This club is going so far backwards... Everyone's laughing at us. And I don't blame them, Alex. I don't blame people for fucking laughing at us. If I was, if I supported someone else and I saw the state this club was in, I would be laughing my fucking ass off, Alex. I can't say any more, mate. I can't. 